this is Adam Jensen. I'm a big fan of Crazy Horse Gaming. I didn't ask for this, but I'll check it out. Hello everybody and welcome to Crazy Horse Gaming and another Minecraft interview. And we have the return of Guru Larry. Hello there, peoples. How's it going? It's going I've... very well. <laughs> he blackmailed me into coming back. I didn't want to. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I want to be interviewed by really popular people and increase my YouTube subscribers. But, yeah, but no, I gotta. You get stuck with me. Yes, yeah, like. It was. It was the call of this unfinished roller coaster that was bringing you back, really, wasn't it? Oh yes, I've still, I've still actually got it on my. Um... I have to do some things now to move it about. We've got loads of new stuff now, haven't we? Uh, I believe so. Right. I've only been on it once since since I was on with you last. Oh, okay. Ah, there we are. I've got to get used to these uh, Xbox controllers. They, the, the, the actual thumbsticks now, they feel like them weird sort of... Uh, those sherbet things you get, you know. Them <laughs> the sweets, some sherbet sweets. You know, you know they're big... Sort of flying block. saucer things. No, no, the fizzlers things. All oh, right. The bar sweets, you know, bars. Ah. So much stuff. All these portions and stuff they've added now. I know, they don't understand anything. So how I was your just... Christmas? It was uh, most exciting. I done. I celebrated the birth of our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yes. I, I celebrated his birth by consuming huge amounts of food and alcohol. The, the proper traditional way of doing it then. Yes. yes. Get much uh, video game playing done? Pl playing or part of presents? Uh, both. Either. Either. Oh, okay. Well, I got Mario 3D Land for Christmas and I also got uh, uh, the Zelda game. Oh, cool. Any good? I, think I haven't played it yet. It's still in the wrapper. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been playing. The only thing I've been playing lately is Battlefield 4. I've been playing online and that. And sort of, you know, hurling abuse at people I'll never meet in real life. So, <laughs> <laughs> Which is which is the way it should be, because then I, I have no repercussions if they come with a big punch by people. Well, I think that's one of the uh, the rules for first person shooters over Xbox oh, Live, right. isn't it? Oh, yeah, you got to. Uh, you got to question somebody's sexuality at least three <laughs> times in a video game <laughs> session. I never got them for abusing lag switches or something whenever you get shot. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's never your fault. Oh. So that's rule number one in an online game. It's never your fault. So are they lag glitching or the, or the <laughs> other t or, the, or your, your team's crap? And then there's the spawn camping. Oh, yeah. So it's, I think it's a lot better nowadays spawn camping than it used to be. But if you play the early Xbox, when did you get Xbox Live? Uh, I've had it for about six, seven years now. So. Oh, okay. So, oh, so you weren't around during the uh, the old um, the, the first year Xbox Live and and there's stuff like Ghost, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon and the very first one, and look, you couldn't do anything but spawn camping. <laughs> <that. laughs> That's the only way to win was to. I got and I, we, I was having a clan match in that years ago, and I decided to run away and hide inside a, uh, a bath in the house, and I got accused of cheating, and <laughs> because the other t other team was spawn killing all the time, obviously. So you got accused of cheating because they couldn't find you. Yes. Hmm. Although I like the tactic, hiding in a bath. That's a uh, pretty. Oh yeah, well, and out, it's a hide in a doorway, so they can't. Every time they try and come round and get you, you put a bullet in the back of their heads. So. <laughs> no, I never had. Um, I had it. Are you weren't allowed to use. Gl you weren't allowed to use um, uh, grenades because they lagged the game up in those days. <laughs> Couldn't take it with the explosions and the physics. Oh yeah, no, literally, it would like it would ruin the game. Wow. Oh. Looks like I missed out on some early online gaming there. 
You didn't. No. <laughs> you, you missed out on an early art attack, really, so that's about <sighs> it. Remember playing the just local multiplayer on things like Halo 2 and oh yeah, that, but did you ever buy a link up lead just to? Yes, yes. I remember using a link up lead to play the first Halo, but the TVs were that close together. You knew exactly where the other person was the minute the tank engine kicked in. Oh, you... oh yeah, well, you could... yeah, you can hear it. The tank engine, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, Thomas. He was one of the He's... earlier characters in Halo, weren't they? Yeah. He's using a scorpion, said Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> we have to. There we are. Decent looking roller coaster. Are you going for a loop the loop at some point? Ah, oh, that's not that's not until the update. Really fast stretch land track here. Isn't this exciting? Yes. So it's a shame you can't really do proper ruler. Oh, sorry, you go first. I was just going to say, so other than your your Battlefield Four, have you had a great deal of it playing with the the new consoles? Uh, a combination of sort of Dead Rising Three and Battlefield Four, mostly for me. I'm I'm not too adventurous, I'm afraid. But uh, I've got Assassin's Creed Four, but I've not played it too much nah. really I've got up to the bit where he's building he's getting a crew and stuff like that and... the crew of uh, lots of people with northern accents by any chance yes and his, uh, yeah, his token black friend because <laughs> if you don't Do have he... that it's a racist game oh yeah and you got and they always have to be sympathised as well because cause that, cause that was well known for that black people always had tons of sympathy in those days <laughs> yeah it's like because we can't, we have to judge them by today's standards and not show how cruel they really were treating in those days. Like, I still like it with the Assassin's Creed games. That from the beginning, even on the the like, the minute you put the game in, they're all, already apologising, saying stuff like, "You know, Assassin's Creed oh, yeah. was made by a multicultural, multi-religious group of people." Yeah, <laughs> who are French? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so therefore they are not multicultural. They are. So partially is the most xenophobic nation on earth, really. Maybe. <laughs> they might as well just put on there. We're not being racist. We've got friends that are coloured so on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I know I've got one on. I met a guy on the internet. There's a. Guy. Oh. So yeah, they're very. I don't know the word. Is yeah, they're very. I think it's a, it's a tongue-in-cheek when they say that. <laughs> Um, I've had a, got a few hours in on Assassin's Creed myself, but I just keep getting distracted and lost by sailing the ship around and attacking people. Well, they said the next Assassin's Creed game... Uh, well, they're going to do a spin-off where it's going to be nothing but piracy. Was which it? is quite fun. Yeah, which is ironic because I got it on pit time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I got, I've, I've got an extra one. The VCR. Yes. <laughs> Trying to stick video tapes in that bloody really well. Can't decide. I think I can't decide whether I like the design of the Xbox One just because it's that ridiculous and that poorly designed that I like it. Oh. Well, the PlayStation Four isn't much better. All it is is an Xbox One in italics, really, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Put a slight angle on it just to make it look yeah. different. To be fair, there's not a great deal like to be playing on it at the moment, is there? You were saying you haven't played a, played much. There's not much out. No. It's... I picked up Loco Cycle for the Xbox One a while back. Oh yeah, well, how'd you get on with that? I enjoyed it. I quite, I quite liked it. I know it's been people have given it hit and miss reviews, but I thought it was quite a good game. Are you playing much in the way of PC as well? Uh. At the moment, I want to be, but I just never seem to get around. Uh, I downloaded the first two Fallout games. Oh, because they're free. Yeah, from good old games. <laughs> well, they, they take them off now because they've lost the license. Bethesda's. They game for free because Bethesda. 
was going to take them all. Oh, that's a shame. And I've been playing uh, Luna Panda. Can you give me a push? I will. Thank you. What's Luna Panda then? It's um, a game done by a studio called Gimpy Software, and basically it's a homage to Luna Lander. Oh, okay. Uh, but what they've done is they've got two versions. They've done a free-to-download version, which they use to teach people how to actually code video games and things like that, so you can mess around, add new stuff, and there's tutorials and stuff on the site on how to actually code and create your own indie video games. And they're currently working on like a, a full game, a proper game where it's literally just like a huge homage to Lunar Lander, where you play a panda in space who obviously has to land on different planets and stuff. You get different points, and uh, they throw challenges, and the levels get harder as it goes along. It's really good. Oh, I've not, I've not put, uh, not electrified this bit here. Oh, that's excellent. Are you going to be programming your own games? Is this, or have I got the wrong end of the stick here? Um, I don't know. I was thinking about it. Uh, Can I get out. I, I can't get out. Can you jump? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I was thinking of giving it a go and seeing if I could pick pick it up or whatnot. It's just getting around to that mentality of putting the time aside to start from step one because I wouldn't have a clue yeah. where to begin. Well, you could do a sort of a more graphical type programming thing. Like RPG making stuff like that, and yeah, so I might uh, actually start looking into because before I started doing this with a website, I signed up for a, a video game graphic design course. But, oh, yeah, but with me working full time, it was one of those that you did in your spare time. I just never found time to get around to doing it, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, best laid plans, eh? Yeah. Sort of. But yeah, so like, I've been messing around with that. Uh, Trying to give me a push again. Go on then. Luna Thank Panda. You. I'm going to go on like the beta and really Do you ever? That. You don't ever go grab these humble bundles? Um, Every now and then. I've got a fair few games on my Steam list, on my Steam account, which I just haven't installed yet. I buy them and then... That's what everybody does. They got hundreds <laughs> of games. They buy them because <laughs> oh, you, can, you can get them for a pound and I'll get it and I'll never install them. Yeah, never install them. Uh, what about you, Sen? Have you got much PC gaming in recently? Uh, I bought DayZ recently. Any good? Uh, that's, well, that's quite good. You spend ages trying to hunt. You go around sh pl buildings that are already being ransacked and that. Look, hopefully, desperately looking for something to use as a weapon before some bass in the distance snipes you in the head. So. <laughs> that's basically the extent of DayZ. That and zombies that keep clipping through walls and floors and that. Because you can hear hundreds of zombies, but it turns out that what's happened is they're actually under the floor and they can't get you. <laughs> <laughs> and also zombies in that game are like Daleks, they can't go upstairs. Oh no. Yeah, they just walk through stairs. Poor, poor. So yeah. Uh, There's another one that looks but, fairly similar. Uh, Seven Days to Survive? Uh, Seven Days to Die, I think it's called? I haven't... S see much of that yet. I, I saw of it, but I what is that like then? Is it, um, is that it looks coming out console, isn't it? Uh, is con it's, I think it's uh, on Steam at the moment. I think oh, it's one of those early release things. Oh, okay. Uh, but from what I've seen of it, it looks very similar to uh, the Daisy, but more of a the zombies are an issue rather than everyone else around you. Oh, okay. So it's a bit more fair, yeah. And, uh, yeah, the, the thing with Daisy, it's not the zombies that are the pain in the neck, it's the humans, and you can't trust anybody. Like, <laughs> it looks so, in the, in the advent of a zombie apocalypse, whatever you do, just murder every single person you don't know. <laughs> yeah, <'Cause>, yeah <laughs> exactly how to survive. Yeah, because... Yeah. And it's also an excellent source of meat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, no, I'd, and uh, I've what else I've been playing? I've been playing Papers, Please. That's quite good. Oh, that's a game I've been meaning to go and pick up. That ah, yeah, you want to get that? That's quite good. It's sort of a, sort of a puzzle game more than anything. 
Are you having a go on the roller coaster? Yeah, I'm just busy watching you because from my oh, okay. point of view, watching you go round and round, but it doesn't look like you're actually in the car. It just looks like you're being chased by it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it just looks like you're running around and being chased by a, a minecart. No, I'd to see that they still haven't put dedicated servers in. <laughs> Will you be purchasing the Xbox One version of uh, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I don't think there'll oh. be a great deal of difference, but I'll probably... Well, you could, the, the maps will be bigger, apparently, and you can have more people in a room. But... I'll, I'll end up picking that one up. What about yourself? I might do. I think... I think it's sort of uh, Minecraft's not on the peak of what you can actually do with it. Really. I think, to an extent. I think I mean, this... I mean, I, I, I don't really want to sort of build every. I hopefully you can transfer your maps over or something. That would be quite nice because I don't like the idea of having to build everything again from scratch. Which reminds me, how's your uh, Woolworths going? I still, I, I need to furnish it really. Still, I've not touched it for ages. This is, like, this is literally the first time I've been on my Xbox 360 since the Xbox One came out. I'm wondering, um, I, think... I haven't played the PC version. I'm just wondering how much this differs from that at the moment. Uh, they've got horses in the PC one now, I know. Ah. Stuff like that. If that's any sort of excitement for you. <laughs> but I think it's... Ah. Oh. Have I got in your way? Yeah, you've ruined it. <laughs> you've ruined my fun. So you don't see that at Orson Town. Some sob standing on your bloody track. Yeah. <laughs> Go straight through them. I was, uh... I was looking for my own... Ah, my minecart's run off. Never mind. Oh, I found it, because I just bumped into it. Put another one down. Oh, that's gone as well. How do you get into these things? Uh, press the left trigger. I've got two minecarts running around. Yeah, I'll probably pick up... Uh... Xbox One Minecraft. Hmm. That um whole thing about World of Tanks sort of died on its ass, didn't it? it was... Yeah, what happened with that? It just doesn't seem to have gone anywhere. I know that. But they're trying to, you know, they're going on about it for ages. <laughs> be this great new multiplayer game. It's been in beta for about ten million years. By the time it's, I thought that's going to be a great game to play until the Xbox One comes out. And then it just not happened. Yeah. The worst thing is, you only get one life per game. Have you? Ever, did you get into the beta? I've bought it. Well, I say bought it. I've downloaded the beta. I haven't played it yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it keeps updating every five seconds as well, so it's the right nightmare to get hold of. But basically... Yeah, no, I was hoping it would be like a nice little sort of stopgap thing for when the... Uh... When the full version comes out. Yeah. Now they've been advertising, is it World of Planes now or something? The same company have done a, a fighter. Oh, one. yeah. World of more the same. <laughs> I don't know where they're going to go when they run out of military ve vehicles to make games out of. Oh, I just, just, just don't know what to think of next, do they, really? Ah, that's why I stopped. <laughs> world of boats or yeah world of s snipers world of no run out be like world of admin or world of cargo transportation yeah well, I've got I've get I sometimes get sent some of them those simulator games oh yeah that, Excalibur Publishing bring out. I have, uh, they sent me a couple of weeks ago, Chemical Spillage Simulator 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like one of the best titles for a video game ever, that. Though. Yeah. Just, what, you know, what, what do you want to be when you go, I want to clean up chemical spillages? 
<laughs> do you want to see our psychologist at all? Well, no, no, that's what I want to do. I just, oh, yeah. I'd just love to be in the boardroom meetings when somebody comes out with these ideas for a video game. Yeah, I know. Just try and think of something exciting, will you, please? <laughs> Tractor Simulator 2014. Well, that was like they brought it out on the, the, the 3DS, didn't they? Oh dear. Uh, I've got another. Oh, they got a um, a waste management simulator as well. I've got that. So if you ever if you ever had a asp aspirations in life for driving a rubbish truck, <laughs> you know I'm, I'm waiting for watching paint dry simulator to do that. What? This needs more power. There's no not enough power going up here. Just waiting for the the. Dudley Council Simulator 2017. Yeah. Dudley. It's got to be an interesting meeting that. You're going, going to see the publishers. What have you got for us? The next Halo? The next the next Call of Duty? Waste Management Simulator. This will be... I guarantee this will be Christmas number one. I guarantee my job <laughs> on it. I'll put my CP45 in <laughs> I was watching a video of is it Euro Truck Simulator 2013. Oh, I've got them, yeah. They just look so boring. Oh, well, sometimes it's a bit uh, therapeutic driving down a, a virtual M25, but. <laughs> I was waiting for that to be like the next DLC for Saints Row or something, because it just sounds like something they'd come up with. Yeah. Have you played the Surgeon Simulator parody? No. Um, I think I've seen it. Oh, that's quite fun. They had to, in an update, they had to take out the casualty music, though. But... Well, the actual from the TV series? Yeah. For some reason, they weren't allowed to use it. I can't think why. Oh. That would have been an awesome new argument for uh, YouTube to have. But you can... Oh, oh, casualty's gone a bit down here now. Every single episode's the same, you know. Somebody somebody use an argument. Uh, no, somebody get a barbecue. Don't tell me how to use a barbecue. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Ten seconds later, third degree burns. What are you doing? I I'm putting this gas cylinder on the grill itself. It'll speed up the cooking. Yeah, it was, it was speed up the plot device. Yeah. I was used to... Oh, I've where's been, where, I've been where's young Billy today? Oh, I've let him play in front of the traffic. <laughs> I can't think anything could possibly go wrong there. Oh, have you not I'm watched sorry, the you're... Apache public service announcement? Oh. Oh, I love... I've just uploaded uh, the... Well, I've uploaded a full movie uh, for the uh, next, the remake of Apaches in the 90s they done. Oh, I'll have to go back and watch that one. So I'll have to, I've, I've set it to unlist at the moment, but I'll send you the link. Oh, but, cool. Yes, a, 90, a 90s remake of it is quite funny. Somebody, some girl gets her arm ripped, ripped off in a thresher. Uh, <laughs> some, yeah, so, so there's a lot of really gory things. She's like waving her stump about <laughs> in a couple of seconds as well. <laughs> No, well, some, you laughing at some kid said uh, that yeah, you know, had nightmares for about a week watching that, and he doesn't, you know, he lives, he lives in the middle of London, sort of miles away from any farm whatsoever. So, <laughs> yeah, so, so, that, so yeah, these teachers are purposely sort of <laughs> mentally sort of discarding these children, even though they've got an absolutely no danger going near a farm, whatever, in their entire life. Because the most dangerous thing in the middle of London city centre is a farm. Yes. And yeah, all the all the kids that live in local farms are getting videos on how to cross busy city centre roads and yeah, how, how to avoid the local drug use pissing up on a street corner and next to the tube station. Yes, how to get rid of that horrible <laughs> Burger King smell <laughs> when you're on public transport. Yeah, nothing gets rid of that smell. Nothing. No. Well, unless you're a tramp and the smell of piss does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. 
Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Have you? Do you go on the London Underground much? Is it? Uh, I tend to once a year. I go oh, okay. when I go down to the London Expo. Oh, okay. Because it is literally a combination of grease. The smell is a combination of grease, Burger King, and sweat. Really, isn't it? The smell yeah. there. It's a, it's, a, it's a very unique smell. Yes, it's a London Underground smell. They should bottle it. I think the, the London Underground is a very unique place, <laughs> to be honest. It's one way of putting it. Yeah, it's one unique place. You know, you just want to get out of there as soon as possible. Have you ever been on the Docklands Light Railway? Yes. yes. That feels really sort of clanky, doesn't it? You know, I don't like sitting on a plastic car. <laughs> well, last last time I went down there for the London Expo, we were on the, um, uh, well, one of the last times on the Docklands Light Railway, and as a fellow was getting off, the doors had shut and he's got his bag trapped in the actual doors and he's trying to struggle so we're trying to yeah. stop the car from going and all we can get is the driver going please stop obstructing the doors please it is an offense you will be fined <laughs> how we laugh we saw him dragged to his death yeah. you know <laughs> you know fine hit me with a 20 quid fine but uh, are you sure it's not like was that a real human doing that though it's not like an automated thing i have no idea just trying to like bang on the windows and get the door to open and stuff and all you kept doing was this obstructing the doors is an offence you will be fined and managed to get his bag out the door and then the, the light railway just shot off Ah, oh. well not the railway itself but the actual train on the this, railway this this is quite nice this stuff it's trellis sort of stuff Look, you can make a sort of like a, a Japanese building with it couldn't you yeah a Shinto building, whatever it's called, Shinto Japanese Castle. We could do a recreation of Takeshi's Castle <laughs> yeah. in Minecraft. I bet, I bet there's about at least thirty videos of that on YouTube already. Oh, oh. the auto save. Minecon 2013 is in Orlando, Florida, USA. Oh my, I must go to that. <laughs> My God, <laughs> far up the flux capacitor. <laughs> so I like the way they keep they keep the messages up to date on these. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's, you know, this is this is what we so, you know pay forty pound a year for on YouTube to get the not YouTube eBay no not eBay, eBay. X X Xbox. <laughs> my brain no work good. <laughs> Although to be fair to Microsoft, they probably have gone forward and say, "Look, we want to update the uh, the message we put on the Lord industry." So I'm like, "Yeah, it'd be twenty thousand, please." Yeah. Well, it's come out on PS3 now, isn't it? Minecraft. Uh, has it been released now? Yeah, come out like a couple of weeks ago. Oh, cool. So, another another generation to get trapped into the Minecraft drug. Yeah, a bit. A bit late in the day, though. I think I think they missed the. There seems to be a lot of uh, late releases off for the PlayStation Three. Yeah, it's nice that they're still going. Well, the thing is, I think people think that you know, as soon as a new console comes out, they should stop making games for it and start yeah. like, concentrating on generation. But the thing is, it's you know, there's 80 million people with a PlayStation Three around out in the world. I mean, there's only there's only a couple of you know, there's only 4 million people on the PS4 and stuff. Yeah, and Sony seemed to be quite good at the support for the previous gen consoles. I've always... Well, they only... The final game only released a couple of months ago. The final game for the PS2, I mean. Yeah, it was a, a FIFA title, wasn't it, I think? It's always a FIFA title. EA always thank the company to put out the lights on a console. Yeah. But I, th I think there's another Pro Eve... Uh, Pro Evo game out as well. I'm going to have to have a go at this now. What are you going for? Yeah, roller coaster. Ah. Roller coaster of love. There you go. Enjoy your content ID, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say there's a copyright claim put in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As I mentioned to you before about the copyright claims I got on uh, Halo 4, one of them was that apparently I'd done a cover version of a song. And it oh, was yeah. the Halo 4 video. It's like, if this is your cover version, you can still monetize it. It's like, cover version of what? 
Like in the middle of a battle scene or something. I don't know. I think that's very... I've got... um, I, My review of GTA 5 has got a copyright claim from uh, Take 2, because they own the rights, but an a company called The Content Factory. The Content Factory? Have you, heard of, have you heard of them before? Never. Well, I've actually spoke to them on Twitter, and it's not them. It's <laughs> somebody pretending to be them. So apparently there's going to be a big rife of um, what I like to call copyright cuckoos. These people... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah... Yeah, these basically yeah, you get get these scumbags who're gonna go around claiming to own rights to videos, even though they have no right. But people who are less initiated and you know know about it, but they say you know they've claimed they've claimed this video and they must have some rights to it. You know, I don't want to touch it and let it go. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've I, I also had a copyright claim from a company called iStream India, and I've never streamed India ever. Ah, oh, you just reminded me. Um, Jim Sterling was mentioning on one of his escapist videos. Oh yeah. That um, I don't watch him. He's a twat. <laughs> <laughs> well, that being aside, he was mentioning that uh, a copyright claim had been put in towards a Dead Rising Free video he put up from some TV channel in India. I would say he was pretty sure that they didn't hold the rights to Dead Rising. Well, like I said, it's their YouTube's content ID system is so bad, it's just flagging things that have no rights to them whatsoever. Seems to be like it's just a case of, or it seems to be like they've tried to go automated because they just no way they could have the manpower to. Well, they have. I mean, they, I think, every day they, people upload about three hundred years of video footage or something like that, something ridiculous. Or oh, yeah. So it's just a case of bad automation, really, isn't it, more than anything Yeah, else? I mean, yeah, it's just a, a computer trying to cope for the best. And the worst thing is, there's nobody to talk to at YouTube, either. I mean, it's all automated, so there's literally nobody to talk to. Uh, I've got a, I have got a friend, um, there's a guy on YouTube called the RPG Fanatic, who got folk for that with not being able to talk to anyone at YouTube. Uh, he actually went to their offices and uh, in America. Oh, wow! Well, <laughs> He went to their offices in America and they called security on him to get rid of him. So, <laughs> so yeah. So, it, it is bad. There's a fucking sheep! <laughs> I can't... There's a bloody sheep over here and he won't let me pass. Can we put, can we put him in a minecart? I, I think you can put a sheep in a minecart. You can put a pig in one. I think I've, I think I've seen a pig in a mine. Well, there he is, look. What are you doing here? <laughs> He's staring at me now. Kill the sheep. Kill the sheep. The sheep must die. Did you kill it? <laughs> it's avoided me. Oh no, I've hit the train track. I got a sword now, bitch. <laughs> well, you can have new characters now, can't you, as well? Is there, is there. Is that what that. On my list, I had like a head. Change skin, what's a. Like. You can have, uh... yeah, there's quite a few characters from sort of indie games over the summer. Different, yeah. Oh. Oh, most of these you want to pay for, which I don't see the point, because you can create your own ones on, on the PC version. I've got Tony Hawk at the moment, in case you haven't noticed. Oh, is that what that is? Case, in case you didn't recognise him. <laughs> Because I got it wrong, I thought it's a Tony Hart. So I thought, well, why have they got, <laughs> why, why have they got a Minecraft character of him? Does it come with the free, um, the free music that comes whenever he was showing his gallery? <laughs> do, 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 do. And yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a Minecraft skin pack of heartbeat. You know, you get to, yeah. you get, you get morph, 
you get the woman who no nobody knows the name of, and you also get Mr. Bennett. <laughs> <laughs> Morph would probably be the most popular character in Minecraft ever. Yeah. <laughs> so overall, am I guessing you were a little underwhelmed by the new console launches, or? Look, they might as well, but they could be the best consoles ever made in history. There's, if there's nothing to play for them, it's a four hundred pound brick. Yes, really. That's what it is, essentially. They should have wait, and they sh they should have waited at least another year, I reckon. To be honest, especially since the you could see how unfinished the Xbox One is as well. Apparently, they they only rushed it to launch because they, they didn't want a, the PS4 to have a head start on them. Oh, wasn't that the same mistake they made with the 360 though? And then the consoles just started blowing up everywhere. Uh, partially, I do know that the uh, uh, the 360 was only supposed to have half the amount of RAM it has in it because um, it, because Epic Games had a complaining about uh, they couldn't get Gears of War run to run on the amount of RAM they had on the originally. So they told Microsoft, "This is how much RAM you need to have in the console." Otherwise, you're going to get a game that looks like this. And they showed you, they showed them a the game that looked like it with only half the RAM. So, Gears of War One's the reason why it's got twice the RAM in it. It's, uh -huh. it's a fun fact. Yeah, it's supposed to have 256k in it, but it's megabytes. But now it's got 512, which is a bit rubbish. Isn't it? They should bring about add-on packs for consoles as well. I know people absolutely hate them. I think every, like the 32x has left a sour taste in everybody's mouth. But uh, would you buy an add-on pack for a consult if it made it, if it made it better? Um, if it was priced right, it's a hundred pounds. Uh, what do you think? Just like an extra RAM or? Yeah, and sort of graphic processors and stuff like that to make yeah, it. Yeah, possibly. I think so. I mean, the Nintendo sixty-four didn't really have much of a. Well, I had a right, expansion pack. Yeah, because it had like the I think this all it was it with Donkey Kong and Perfect Dark or something like that. That. That's right. Uh, you couldn't play some games with it. Majora's Mask, you couldn't play without it. See, I want to go back to the old school ones. Like, was it the uh, ColecoVision? Had the add-on pack to play Atari 2600 games? Yes. Hmm, nah, they didn't like that. We'll go back to that. So, Sony bringing out an add-on pack so you can play Microsoft games. Or... You could play PS1 games on a Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there, uh, there's a, a thing called Bleamcast you can buy. I mean, it's only you can only play like two or three games, like Gran Turismo and... Metal Gear Solid, but you know the fact that you could play a different console and all because the Dreamcast was quite powerful. Really, console? It was, yes. It's like the James Dean of consoles. It died yeah. before it's. No, it was funny you mentioned that about the 32X. Um, obviously, with Christmas just being gone, me sister and her fella came round. Oh, and he got me on for Christmas. I thought, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. He goes, he's like, you've got the Xbox One and PS4. And I was like, yeah. He goes, can I go have a look? Because he hasn't got one yet. And so I showed him that. And bang next to it, I've got the Mega Drive with the Sega CD and the 32X plugged in. He yeah. goes, what the hell's that? He goes, what? That was just the Mega Drive. Mush that plastic mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Is that thing on the top? Ah, the 32X. Is it any good? No. No, it's not any good. But they are worth quite a bit now, actually. Ah, they've shot up in price on eBay, but... Yeah, especially a box one, about 150 quid now. Oh, hang on. One second. Oh, what's happening? Still. Still in front of the minecart whenever I look at it. Oh, no. Just rushing around. Not actually in it. You just look like you're being chased by it. Ah, oh, that's that's the glorious power of online thing. <laughs> I don't know. Is Minecraft still popular on YouTube? Uh, I have no idea. I imagine there's a, a dedicated following. There's a dedicated following for everything on YouTube. Yes. I can't think of... Let's wonder what the next thing's going to be. Hmm... What's what's gonna be the next music thing everybody dances to? Because there's like, like Gangnam Style, and they had that 
what's his name one? Uh, there was Harlem Shake and Harlem Shake, yes. And it sort of had what noises a fox make. <laughs> I think I missed that one. Oh, okay, that was uh, late last, quite late. What? So yeah, you want to know what sounds a fox make? He makes a sort of a screaming noise. <laughs> So there you go, that's the answer to that. Yeah. Such a thing, they just come out of nowhere, though. It's one of those that... Yeah, I think it's, yeah, some like, you know, group of people. There's no way you could predict what would be the next big thing, or... No. But it normally involves a foreigner doing something hilarious. And people get... And everybody copying it, and then all of a sudden... It's in the charts. Yes. I want to see that being the next reality TV show. How to make the or trying to make the next big internet meme. Yeah, the next, the next YouTube star. You know, this is Steve. He does let's plays of Minecraft and stuff like that. <laughs> so, so, yeah. This... Who would you have on the judging panel for that? I don't know. Simon Cow. <laughs> yeah, just because he's a judging panel for everything. Yeah. Yeah, because he's the authority on everything ever, and also um, and uh, the the pissed off Scottish bloke from Dragon's Den, because <laughs> Duncan Bannatyne is Bonnetire, it? Bannatyne, yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, it sounds a load of shit to me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> he's like a human version of Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> <isn't> he, <really? laughs> <laughs> he says, uh, my, my three nephews, I'm not giving them any fucking money, they'll get their own thing. That's what he bases himself on, isn't it? He stands <laughs> in front of the mirror every morning. <laughs> Ducktail's playing in the background. <laughs> should be a rule now for uh, these talent shows, as every talent show should have a token angry Scots guy on the panel. Oh, yeah. I don't know. This isn't going to make me much money. It's going to... Cause... And then he, he always has to point out that he's got a health club as well every single bloody episode of that. Have you I've seen got... me, Jims? Yeah, I've seen me, Jims. <laughs> Even though I don't use them and I'm, I've, I've had several heart attacks in the last three years. Have you got the patent pending on this? No. Well, I have now. Because <laughs> I've just stolen it off you. That was me. You. That's when I was pissing about on my old phone. I was. I just nicked the rights off you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we chubby bastard. Get to fuck. <laughs> oh dear. There we are. Talking angry Scotch guy now for every oh, reality yeah. TV show. That'll be the next big internet meme. Yes. Yeah, so and a slightly effeminate English person as well. <laughs> the Simon Cow. I don't know. I don't know if you're doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to London. You oh, nailed yeah, well, it just, this time. I'm in, I'm in fucking London. <laughs> I know, but you're going there again. <laughs> and you... you absolutely nailed it. <laughs> yeah, I just live in the world of Netflix now. I mean, I tend not to watch any live TV. Oh yeah, that's what everybody's going now. Other than the Doctor Who Christmas special, I did watch that. Oh yes, which was slightly disappointing. Yeah. yeah. There didn't seem to be a great deal of action in it. No. I think. Did you see that picture I put up on Twitter as well? That's uh, like a TV Times thing. Got it the wrong way around. Instead of posting up the news, you know what it's about, they post up a review. <laughs> and so they basically it said that it's a shame that Stephen Moffat can't regenerate it to somebody who can make a plausible script. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And um, yeah, and it's a, a dazzling lights you made to confuse small children. 
<laughs> Way to advertise a TV show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas is disguised as dazzling lights used to confuse small children. Yeah, I was hoping to see a bit more of the new Doctor as well, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Well, you got three and a half seconds of his eyebrows, like you always did like in the 50th anniversary. Yeah. And him mentioning something about his kidneys. Yes. Here's a fun fact about the gener this generation of consoles. Uh, well, this the PlayStation 4 is the first ever Sony div uh, console to be launched without a copy of Ridge Racer. Is it? Yes. Wow. Every yeah, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, PSP and PSV all come out of a Ridge Racer game. So is that just another example of they kind of released it too early or they've just abandoned Ridge Racer? I think, yeah, Nam Namco abandoned Ridge Racer. It's Ridge Racer! Ridge Racer! I still remember the little mini game. Was it like the Space Invaders mini game he got at the beginning of. Oh, good that was. If you managed to get all of the enemies you got. Oh, was it some kind of extra car? I think so, yeah, the Pac Man cars and the yellow Pac Man cars. I don't know, something like that. You've been building quite a lot in this world, haven't you? You've got a nice little observation tower over here. The observation tower was done by the uh, developer on. Gimpy Software. I was telling about the Lunar Panda. Oh, okay. Can you kindly join me for a, an interview uh, before Christmas? And this and is. He built a tower. He built a tower, and I built this weird fish tank thing here, which I haven't finished. Ah, it's like an apple store. <laughs> Devoid of all personality or life. Just like an apple store. Are you trying to build some sort of factory or something? I don't know, I just kind of went a bit mad with the glass and threw some oh, okay. water in there. and Because it looks like one of them fish farming sort of factories that people have made. And they do one, they got like a chicken factory that... They... No, it's a roast chicken factory. There's chickens at the top that lay eggs and they sort of grow up. And then chickens land immediately into fire and turn into roast chickens. Sounds pretty awesome, that. Yes, it's like... It's like Minecraft version of Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> yeah. without, without a Rolf Harris lookalike. Sort of. <laughs> and no Colonel Sanders. No. He wasn't even a proper Colonel anyway. <laughs> Just made it up. He was. He did He did make it up. He thought it sounded cool. So It's like me opening up a, a taco restaurant calling Lord Admiral or something. You know, he's got no military background whatsoever. Just thought he'd put the title on there. Right, it worked. It did. He's now responsible what's for his... a chain of restaurants that can't cook half decent chicken. What's his first? <laughs> what's his first name? Do you know his first name? Sanders. Yeah. Not a clue. Harlem. Harlem. Yes. Harlem Sanders. His yes. parents didn't like him very much then. I'm guessing. No. I suppose it could be worse than we call pubert or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that would go well with a some kind of food production chain. Yeah. <laughs> pubert fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made holes in all the ice. Yes, yeah, so they freeze over soon enough, though. So have you been uh, been given a? I know you did like an update on your channel about the content problems on YouTube and so on forth. Have you had much more trouble since? Or no, not had any claims whatsoever. No, luckily. I mean, I was. I mean, in all fairness, I was a bit blatant with some of it. I did like posted up the ending to <laughs> Gears of War three and that. <laughs> Just you to laugh. see if it got. Flag. You laugh, I earned enough money to buy myself an iPad. Really? Uh, wow. From the end of year, so. So, yeah. So, it was good money. That's pretty impressive. So, yeah, so I got, you know, I had to, well, it's, and it wasn't even like Microsoft who demanded I'll take it down. It's the bloody music companies. Because they license music. After games come out, they license the music to this sort of publisher to release it on sort of CD and that. And they own the copy, they claim the copyright. Which is a bit unfair. I mean, I was they haven't created it, or 
No, but they licensed it, so therefore they own it. So. Yeah. Make my tunnel look all posh. Yes, yeah, so I was doing like a two a stepped thing that didn't come out very well. I do have to go in a minute, I'm afraid, but I will I will return later if you want me back. Yeah, it's not a problem. I could have my din dins, you know, Have anything nice? No, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, but yes, I, I must I must leave and I return later. If you call me. Okay, doke, not a problem. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right, well, I wanna thank, thank you for joining me for another random ramble. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, we I shall return shortly. Okay, doke. Okay. Catch nice. you later. Later. Bye bye. bye. Well, on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to check out the other content on the site. And feel free to like, subscribe, share, or comment on these videos if you enjoy them. And I will catch you all next time. Again, thank you all for watching. And a big thank you to Guru Larry for joining me on this once again. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye. <laughs>